Welcome back, everybody. Last episode, we fought the first boss, quote unquote. And I think I dropped this into a flashback. Here, yep. How was it? Forgot how many Worst years this I've was before. Seen. I guess this is the uh, Wake residence. Pretty nice apartment. I was just reading the titles. <clears throat> mm, look at that skyline. I guess we can turn the coffee on. I just don't want to trigger a cutscene and not be able to explore the apartment. TV? Oh, damn it. Oh well. <laughs> Coffee's on. Great, thanks. I'll need it if I'm going to finish this by tomorrow. Oh, hey. All right, what I just is finished she those cover mock-ups. They're on your desk. Tell me what you think. No kidding. I didn't think you'd get them done this quickly. On occasion, I That's can cool. perform all sorts of miracles, my dear. Oh, really? Well, you seem to think so last night. <clears throat> so, I guess he writes the books and she does covers. That's pretty cool. Where are the mock-ups at? These look really good. Oh, sure, until Barry gets his hands on them. Which, by the way, will happen over my dead body. The last time was the last time. Oh, and see you He called. <gasps> uh. Alan! Alan! Please check the fuse box! I'm right here. I'm on Where's it. Where's that? Alan. Please hurry! Should be in the kitchen or something, right? I can just follow my, uh... It's a power outage. I I've got the flashlight. Hi. You okay? I'm sorry. I just... It just really spooked me. Don't worry. We'll just break out the candles. I know it's stupid, Sounds romantic. But it's just... Especially when I'm not prepared for it, you know? It gets to me. I love you. Tell me a story, writer. Okay. <clears throat> I used to have these nightmares when I was a kid. The dark really spooked me, too. When it got really bad, my mom gave me this old light switch. She called it the clicker. The clicker, huh? Yeah. If I ever got scared of the dark, I could just flip the switch and a magic light would scare the monsters away. Oh, sure. Here it is. Alan. Maybe it'll help <laughs> you, too. Yeah, nice story, writer boy. You made that up right now, didn't you? No, no. <laughs> Seriously. I love you, even if you are a liar. Thanks for this. <clears throat> All right. How do you feel, Mr. Wake? Any nausea, disorientation, anything like that? Mr. Wake, how are you feeling? I'm okay. My head's fine. I had to lie about my headache and memory loss. He'd send me to a hospital for tests. I couldn't leave without Alice. Mm, very well. Um, I don't think you have a concussion, but you've obviously been through quite a shock. You should take it easy for a couple of days. Thanks. Well then, Mr. Wake, we're done here. If the pain gets any worse or you experience any other symptoms, you should come see me. I'll let you get on with it then. Sarah got Sheriff Breakers waiting for you. She's very good at her job. I'm sure she can locate your wife in no time. Hmm. 
Okie dokie. Is that a, is that a real sorry fish? I had to cut your morning fishing short for this, Doc. Oh, she's a beauty, ain't she? Not the biggest Besides ever being a video game been. fish. That coming from an old fisherman like me. She's right up there. Thank you for testing the lights, Miss Weaver. Everything seems to be fine. I don't have the luxury of being complacent, <laughs> Deputy Grant. The bulbs will need changing soon. You can't change them in the dark. I'll be sure to take care of it, Miss Weaver. Have a nice day now. Very good. I'll come back later on to remind you, just in case. Mr. Wake, the sheriff Weird. is waiting for you in her office down the corridor. That was Cynthia Weaver. I guess you can okay, call her the town guess. eccentric. She Let's used go. to be the editor of the local newspaper, but she's focused on um oh, other things these days. She'd fit right in where I come from. As you can see, she's a little obsessed with maintaining the light bulbs of the whole town, refuses to step on shadows, things like that. Back in her day, she wrote about all sorts of weird things in the paper. Bright Falls has a colorful history. Of course, what small town hasn't? There's a lot of dialogue in this game. A lot of t talking, which is pretty cool. I don't mind. Yeah, it's uh, Mulligan here. I'm at Stucky's gas station with Thornton. There's no sign of him. Over. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, this is Thornton. Look, we've located the Bray float. It's here. That's some good news, right? Stucky was supposed to be driving it at the rehearsal today. Over. Oh, give me that. Mulligan here. Looks like someone really thrashed the garage. Over. Okay, roger that, guys. Keep looking for Stucky. James out. The sheriff Let's wants go to talk to Sarah. Office, Mr. Wake. I know, I know, I know. Where is she at? <clears throat> Never mind. That's where we were, so she probably through here. Come in, Mr. Wake. Your phone's on the desk. The battery was dead. It's charged now. Have you started looking for my wife yet? My men are already on it. Now, can you tell me what happened? I'm not sure. I can't remember. We were arguing. I walked out of the cabin. The cabin on Cauldron Lake? How did you end up at Stucky's gas station? I wanted to tell her what had happened last night, but I couldn't. She'd lock me up. Excuse me, I need to take this. <laughs> Verizon. A lot of product placement. Hello? Alice, please help me. Alice? Stop talking to the law. You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to see your wife again. Who is this? Go to the back lot. There's a hole in the fence on the left. Look inside the junker. I left a little something there to convince you we're all on the same page here. After you ditch the cops, you're gonna meet me in Elderwood National Park. There's a spot called Lover's Mr. Peak. Mr. Wade, can I help you Midnight. with anything? Don't do nothing stupid, pal. For watching you. I couldn't go anywhere yet. I had to play along with the caller. Alice's life was at stake. I need to get some air. The sheriff said I could go out back. Hey, of course, hey, Mr. Mr. Wake. You can get there through the cell corridor. Why is on? The deputies, they won't... They don't understand. They won't listen to me. I I need it to be bright in here. Thank you, man. Thank you. Hey, you're all right. You're a good guy. Don't let anybody tell you different. You know, I shouldn't even be in here. The cops, they got it. All wrong. See, sure, 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 I beat him up, but I wasn't drunk. I mean, I wasn't drunk at the time. I only got drunk afterwards. Okay, <laughs> listen. Listen, listen, you gotta listen carefully now. Here's the kicker. That wasn't Danny. 
No, sir. They only look like them. You want to know who it really was? I can tell you who it, who it really was. It was a goddamn space alien! I know it sounds like something a drunk would say, but believe me, I wasn't drunk then. Okay, mister. Page. I don't know which one is my most recent one. No. Okay. The early morning light hurt my eyes and made my head ache. The man on the phone had said, go through the fence on the left. All right. Kick. The kidnapper fired his gun one last time, and the shadow vanished into the darkness it had come from. See? Nothing to it, Wake. The thought of Alice in his hands was revolting. We stood on the wooden platform of Lover's Speed, the waterfall on the mountain behind us, the lights of the radio mast blinking red in the heights above. I fought with the urge to take a swing, force myself to speak. Let's cut the act now. Where's my wife? Alice's driver's license had been placed in the front seat. The caller meant business. How do you know that before I even got here? Okay. Barry? Ow! Ow! Thank God! Where the hell have you been? I've been trying to reach you for a week, you and Alice. Oh, I've been worried sick. I flew out yesterday. I'm here, here in Bright Falls. Barry, listen to me. I'm at the sheriff's station. Come and get me. I can't talk now. Ow! What the hell is going on? I had to get the sheriff to let me go. I needed to get to Elderwood National Park to meet Alice's kidnappers. I'm already out of the sheriff's station. We arrest me, I don't give a yeah. The dude's gone. Oh, there he is. just wanted to settle all the damage the Anderson brothers might have inadvertently caused on their re Are you feeling any better, Mr. Wake? I'd like to leave. Am I free to go? Well, we still need to talk about- Am I under arrest? No, of course not. But I need to know where you'll be staying so I can get in touch with you. I'd avoid the motel. The Majestic is known for its roaches. The cabins at Elderwood are pretty nice, though. That sounds perfect. I'm Dr. Emil Hartman. I'd like to invite you to stay at Cauldron Lake Lodge. Did you talk to my wife? I had the pleasure of discussing your situation with her on several occasions. Did you set something up with her? I invited her here. My clinic is a place where... Oh, hey! Oh, my! Take it easy. Hey, nobody move! Get your hands off of my client! Who are you? I'm Barry Wheeler, his agent. If you have business with Mr. Wake, you talk to me. You yokels won't know what hit you once I sick my lawyers on your asses. No harm done, Sarah. I'm all right. I don't want to press charges. Mr. Wake, my offer still stands. Get me out of here. What the hell was that about, Al? We don't need a replay of that thing with the paparazzi. I thought they were gonna lock you up. I had to talk to someone. I told Barry everything. He thought I was certifiable, but when he heard about the manuscript, I had him. The fact that I'd written something, even if I couldn't remember it, was enough for him. He smelled money. 
and he believed that Alice had been kidnapped. Anything beyond that was another story. I had a midnight appointment with the kidnapper in a place called Lover's Peak, somewhere in Elderwood National Park. The plan was to rent a cabin. I don't like it, Al. I don't like any of it. It's not good. In fact, it's the absolute opposite of good. Mr. Wake! Barry, you found him! Hi, Rose. Oh, wow. I was just thinking about you, too. Great. I was just bringing Rusty some coffee. He's on the balcony, looking after Max. Poor thing. I really need to go. Great to see you again, Mr. Wake. Later! Who's Max? What an airhead. Jeez, Mr. Takes a Swing at Everybody. This is not her fault. She's a very nice girl and, more importantly, a fan. Alright, I guess I'll cut this one here. In the next episode, we'll talk to Rusty and explore this strange-looking cap and... Thanks for stopping by, and I will see you next time. Peace.